Welcome to the Redundix installation movie. Redundix by Barrix is a solution to improve the quality of a received RTP stream in the following areas of application. Studio to transmitter link. Studio to studio link like in radio syndication and contribution. And any kind of point to point RTP streaming. Let's do a slight detour into the world of broadcasting. Broadcasters are depending on a reliable data connection between studio and transmitter site. Natural conditions can interfere their radio link and lead to loss of packets. Redundix can cope with these problems using two different technologies. Rely at time sends two streams over the same connection. The second stream is time delayed and will be merged at the receiving point to a final correct one. Rely do it sends an additional stream over a totally different router connection and the stream will again be merged to a final one at the receiving point. How does the installation looks like? Connect the power supply and connect the L1 port of your Redundix device with a local switch. Do the same on your receiving device. Download the Barracks Discovery tool to find out the DHCP address of Redundix. Browse to the IP address of Redundix and enter the password in the password field. You will find the password at the bottom of the device. So better write it down. Go to the application menu, define the device type to sender and choose rely at time as redundancy mode. In the third field you can define the time diversity for the second stream. Set the listener port to the same port that is configured on the encoding device. Configure as destination IP the external IP address of the remote router. Port forwarding must be active on that router. Set as destination port a 5 digit number which should be the same on the receiving router. With this rely at time configuration Redundix sends two streams over the same cable. There is no need to use the second interface. Do the same on the receiving device. Change the device type to receiver. Increase the time diversity to at least 300 milliseconds, so Redundix can fill up the buffer. Enter the 5-digit number into the incoming listener port field, then configure as destination IP address the address of the decoding device, as well as a new 5-digit port number. In case of a missing switch, you can use Redundix like a switch, where the traffic is bridged from interface L1 to interface L2. Connect your computer to configure the device. Go to Application menu, choose Rely at Time Bridging and configure the application like on Rely at Time. Let's go now to Rely at Duet. You have the two connections and the four routers. From a scratch it looks like this. Connect the power supply. Connect the Ethernet cable between L1 and the switch and a second Ethernet cable between L2 and another ISP router. Choose Relia Duet, go to the L2 menu and configure this interface appropriate to your second subnet. Go then to the application menu, set the device type to sender and define Relia Duet as redundancy technology. Fill out again the fields. Be aware that you must also configure the second connection with the credentials of the remote router. If you choose a time diversity here, you dispose of three different streams, two on interface L1 and one on interface L2. On the receiving device you have again to fill out the source fields and the destination field. If you want to use your Wi-Fi infrastructure, you can configure Redundix to send the second stream over the Wi-Fi interface. Use the L1 interface for the first stream and configure the Wi-Fi interface for the second stream. Go to Application menu, set the device type to Sender and choose Rely a Duet Wi-Fi as Sending mode. To complete the instructions, let's spend some words about your encoder. Here you configure as RTP destination the first Redundix device and the port number that you set as listener port on Redundix. 
On the decoding device, you choose as RTP source the IP address of the receiving Redundix device. Here, you can leave 4 times 0 and enter the port number that you gave to Redundix. Mention that on the receiving router, the port forwarding must point to the new Redundix device. With this procedure and the application of a fantastic product called Redundix, you will no longer have glitches and interruptions on your RTP connection. Yeah.